August 2024. So on August 28th, we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, finally going direct and will be going direct at 21 degrees Leo energy. So let's recap. On July 16th, Mercury first entered his pre-retrograde shadow period at this 21 degrees in Leo energy. Of course, he continued to move on through the Leo energy. He moved into his rulership in Virgo energy. And then on August 5th, Mercury went retrograde at four degrees in his rulership in the Virgo energy. Of course, the retrograde means that we start retracing our steps. We're moving backwards, if you will, in reflection, in review, in replaying, reanalyzing, restructuring, reframing at this particular juncture, issues from the past. Now that Virgo energy had us kind of dissecting the good, the bad, the in-between, really putting the pressure on us to pick apart where it is that certain situations and circumstances popped off, where it is that we can reframe it to do better, to be better, and where it is that technically speaking in our lives, we have areas that need some improvement. However, when Mercury shifted back into the Leo energy, back into the heart and soul of the Zodiac, we started replaying, reanalyzing, reviewing matters of the heart. Why? Well, because the Leo energy is the heart and soul of the Zodiac. We have had this new version of self emerge. The Leo energy presents the most authentic version of self that we could possibly stand in. And that of course changes our mind space. It changes our emotional space because now we're tapping into a boldness, a bravery, a courage that we need to have in order to wrap up certain chapters, bring certain topics and themes, certain karmic contracts to a close with a certain level of love and acceptance. And of course, we've definitely been wrecking our brains, definitely been looking back, definitely reframing, restructuring how it is that we view certain situations and circumstances of the past, because of course they were offering us a weakness, a vulnerability, if you will. And we want to use those particular quote unquote painful experiences in order to really tap into a new level of power. That is what these retrogrades are all about. It helps us to look back, reflect, review, revise, reframe, restructure. And now that Mercury is going direct and we get to kind of, you know, go back to where it is that we were in our heart space, in our head space around that July 16th mark. Now we get to move on, move forward, making some improvements, making some adjustments, especially with how it is that we're perceiving the world around us and how it is that we are holding certain emotions emotions, according to, again, trying to close chapters of the past, really kind of reignite a fire, a spark, a flame within our goals, visions, and dreams for us to start pushing forward. So heads up, we will be in this post retrograde shadow period until September 11th. This is when Mercury will come up to the fourth degree of Virgo energy that he went retrograde in. And up until that point, we're just retracing our steps. We have a little bit of that residual debris from the past kind of, you know, in our faces for us to kind of approach it from a better mind space, a better heart space, if you will. We're going to have the opportunity slowly but surely to make some forward movements, to make some progress. But until we get to that fifth degree in the Virgo energy, which will be around that September 11th, September 12th type of energy, we are just kind of refining where it is that we're coming from. We aren't entering into new territory. We aren't able to kind of take action on new paths, new visions. We're not going to gain the type of clarity that we've been working for. We're not going to get that until we move into that fifth degree in the Virgo energy. So of course, it is going to take a little bit of time for us to adjust. It is going to take a little bit of time for us to kind of start seeing that confusion fog clear. We are going to have an opportunity to be a little bit more forthcoming with our thoughts, with our ideas, with our emotions, especially while Mercury is still in this Leo energy. And once we kind of shift into the Virgo energy, again, it's planning, it's strategizing how it is that we're going to bring forth some of the goals, the visions, the dreams that again 
are being kind of reignited in our heart space under the Leo influence, the Virgo energy helps us get down to the nitty gritty. What needs to be put into place in order for us to build and make some progress towards a new goal, vision and dream. So communication is still going to be a little bit messed up. We're going to have a little bit of a hard time understanding even within ourselves what it is that we're being pulled towards and pushed away from. But as we gain a little bit of momentum, especially once we move into September, things are going to start kind of balancing out once again. And so we want to pay attention again, if you have the Leo season e-guide available to you and the Virgo season e-guide available to you, you're going to want to reflect back to July 16th. You're going to want to go back to approximately the 25th of July and even more so around the 4th and 5th of August. All of the topics and themes that you should have captured in those little, you know, worksheets that I've provided, all of those topics and themes are going to come full circle. We're going to be able to kind of make sense of them. We're going to be able to kind of make some progress in improving those particular situations and circumstances. And this in turn is going to allow us to have some light bulb moments building on top of the epiphanies that of course we haven't been able to make much sense about up until now. We're going to gain a little bit more of a visual, a little bit more of a, a I'm going to say a grounded approach of how it is that we're supposed to kind of bridging the gap from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. So we do have to be just a little bit aware of where our head space is at, where our heart space is at, where the gap between the two is at as well. And to just start pushing the boundaries of our decision making process of our ability to make improvements to our mental plane to our heart space to start to improve to find ourselves in a more balanced situation circumstance and scenario to get our heart and head on the same page. Why is that you may ask? Well, because that is the first part of manifesting. We have to get our heart and head on the same page and in agreement before we can engage the physical body to take action, to make moves, to actually start pushing ourselves into a new path, into a new direction.